some steps. I want you to say how you might actually get there. So it's not just the item. I want to say what you think needs to be done to get there. One, two, three, four, five steps so that we can either see where responsibility lies for acting on those, whether it's responsibility which is a partnership with you, whether it's some of that responsibility lies with us, or whether there's some responsibility which is about networking together and going some way into the future. First of all, University of London to contact affiliates. Secondly, an initial meeting to take place real and virtual for those who can't attend. Yeah. And thirdly, the University of London to provide a platform for communication. So, maybe something on the video or whatever to log in where we could communicate. Hey, well, my name is Andrew Otto. I'm Programme Director for the University of London International Programmes at the Law Faculty at the University of Passau, where we offer the Diploma in Law and uh, the LLB. In terms of staff exchange, also part of staff development seeing other places, what the University of London could do would be a facilitation in the sense of establishing a database for institutions to enter. This is, or these are potential members of staff who would be prepared to go to other places yes. uh, for these kind of subjects. The next concrete step we would look at is learning and operational sharing between teaching institutions and operational staff at the University of London. <coughs> My name is George Pappas. Um, I'm the executive director with the International Center for Legal Studies. Uh, we teach the uh, London LLB uh, to students around the world. Uh, we are based in the United States. And for the past 11 years, our relationship uh, with the international programs has been very, very strong. All of our students are affiliated with the uh, University International Program. Um, in terms of the conference that I've just attended here, the providers meeting, Without question, the ability to meet and listen to uh, other ideas and suggestions by other institutions, meeting uh, the other um, uh, directors and uh, participants from other teaching institutions uh, is invaluable. Um, I can't tell you how priceless having an uh, opportunity to um, exchange ideas with my colleagues uh, has been. There's no doubt about that. Hi, I'm Khadija Mushtaq. I am the Executive Director of Roots College International, the DHA1 campus in Islamabad, Pakistan. Overall, it's great to be here. Uh, as far as the conference is concerned, uh, at the Cumberland Lodge, first of all, this is such a beautiful place, um, a place where you can, you know, rethink and uh, rediscover what's going on. Uh, but I'm actually very moved by some of the themes of this conference, that is globalization, that is linkages. And the key themes that I'm taking back with me is uh, sharing the best practice, uh, networking with other international institutions, uh, working in a more collaborative way with the University of London Network Institutes, um, exchange of students, exchange of lecturers, and uh, above all, uh, providing the um, you know, making the students real cosmopolitan students in today's environment. We've learned a lot being part of the system. Uh, there was a huge transfer of knowledge between the elite colleges, London School of Economics, Goldsmiths, and now Royal Holloway, onto St. Martin's academic staff. Um, I was very happy to attend these two, three days here because, again, um, we have cemented relationships with the different affiliates and also different departments of the university. And obviously, I look forward that. Um, I will take with me more energy to increase even more the quality of teaching that we give at St. Martin's Institute for the University of London students who prefer to stay in Malta and read for their degrees from our institute. So uh, what did you think? Overall I thought it was excellent and mm. I was particularly impressed in the way that everyone came together as well towards the end of it as a community you know, mm. and I also like the way that you you set it up so that when they were looking forward they they got the the sort of the high level strategic ideas some of the more sort of medium operational type things but and also some of the nitty-gritty things what did you think about ideas for the future though where will, where will we go next do you think? I think uh, there's a lot of power in the network and, and uh, I was, I've always believed that and I was really reassured that everyone around the room was nodding and, and agreeing and seeing a lot of potential. It's a very, there was a very strong um, agreement from the institutions that they wanted us to, to be in very close liaison with them about marketing so that anything we do at a brand level and at a, a global level uh, integrates with what they do at a, a local level. 
uh, we're certainly going to do this again. Uh, there was a recommendation that we have it at a, a, a set time of year, and, and graduation does seem to be a good focal point. Um, it makes an extremely intensive week for everyone in concerned, but, uh, but it does make sense to, to have events next to something that people will come to naturally. So uh, we could certainly look at having one as a regular adjunct to, to graduation.